All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope y'all doing all right in these times that we're in. Now, today I want to discuss about confidence and self-esteem, believing in God's word, having confidence in the Lord, you know, having confidence in yourself as well, and being bold and courageous. It's very important that we always evaluate ourselves and figure out our strengths and our weaknesses. A lot of times people battle with insecurities or doubt or self-hate issues or you know, people tend to look down on themselves a bit too hard. People tend to be a little too critical of themselves and too harsh of their own and lack self-love. So it's very important that we love ourselves. We love the most high and we love what God gave us. We love what God blessed us with. We love the gifts and the talents that the most high has given us, you know, and it's very important to realize that we all have a purpose. We all have identity in Christ and that we should always trust in the Lord and you know, trust our work and trust our abilities as well. You know, God blessed us with a healthy body and a sound mind, and we have to put it to use and be grateful for it. And we have to embrace it fully. We have to be hardworking people and live abundant, full lives. You know, because a lot of people out here, they, a lot of people lack confidence. Some people have a lot of doubt. Some people have a lot of, you know, what ifs or uncertainty about themselves and their own gifts. You know, some people just have a low self esteem, they battle with that. They might have low self-esteem due to bad, bad, bad past experiences or being bullied or not figuring out their own self-worth or their self-value or being talked down by people or dealing with rejection or trauma or different types of things that affect their own outlook on themselves. So what I want to do is just give you some encouragement to have good self-esteem and good confidence and you know, to really trust in the Lord through it all, no matter what you've been through, because you have a purpose and you have a lot to live for. You know, you battle with those mood swings and you battle with those different feelings every day, but you got to always stay strong and always keep your head up high, no matter how things are looking. So what I want to do is just read some scriptures dealing with confidence and self-esteem and trust in the Lord and just go from there. Okay, the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 4. Such confidence we have through Christ towards God. The book of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35. Therefore, do not throw away your confidence, which has a great reward. The book of Ephesians chapter 3, verse 12. In whom we have boldness and confidence, access faith through him, access through faith in him. The book of 1 John chapter 5, verse 14. This is the confidence which we have before him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 26. For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 7. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose trust is the Lord. The book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 16. Therefore, let us draw near with confidence to the throne of grace so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. The book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is the, assur the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. The book of Psalm, chapter 118, verse 8. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 19. Therefore, brethren, since we have confidence to enter the holy place by the blood of Jesus, the book of Psalm, chapter 146, verse 3, do not trust, it, do not trust in princes and mortal men in whom there is no salvation. The book of Micah, chapter 7, verse 5, do not trust in a neighbor, do not have confidence in a friend from her lips, from her who lies in your bosom, guard your lips. The book of Psalm, chapter 62, verse 5, my soul wait in silence for God only, for my hope is from him. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 8. We are of good courage. I say I prefer rather to be absent from the body and to be at home with the Lord. The book of Hebrews chapter 13, verse 6. So that we confidently say, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What will man do to me? The book of Isaiah chapter 32, verse 17. And the work of righteousness will be peace, and the service of righteousness, quietness, and confidence forever. The book of Philippines, chapter 3, verse 3. For we are the true circumcision, who worship in the Spirit of God and glory in Christ Jesus, and put no confidence in the flesh. The book of 1 John, chapter 4, verse 17. 
By this, love is perfected with us, so that we may have confidence in the day of judgment, because as he is, so also are we in this world. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 17. Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they keep watch over your souls as those who will give an account. Let them do this with joy and not with grief, for this world will be unprofitable for you. The book of Philippines, chapter 1, verse 6. For I am confident of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Christ Jesus. The book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 26. In the fear of the Lord, there is strong confidence, and his children will have refuge. The book of Psalm, chapter 27, verse 13. I would have despaired unless I had believed that. I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. The book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 21. Beloved, if our heart does not condemn us, we have confidence before God. The book of Proverbs chapter 20, verse 19. He who goes about as a slanderer reveals secrets. Therefore, do not associate with a gossip. The book of Psalm chapter 71, verse 5. For you are my hope, O Lord God, you are my confidence from my youth. The book of Psalm chapter 56, verse 3. When I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. The book of Philippines chapter 3, verse 4. Although I myself might have confidence even in the flesh, if anyone else has a mind to put confidence in the flesh, I far more. The book of Proverbs chapter 11, verse 13. He who goes about as a talebearer will reveal secrets, but he who is untrustworthy, who he who is trustworthy conceals a matter. The book of Second Corinthians chapter three verse five. Now that we are adequate in ourselves to consider anything as coming from ourselves, but our adequacy comes from God, is from God. The book of Psalm chapter one twelve verse seven. He will not fear evil tidings. His heart is steadfast trusting in the Lord. The book of Romans chapter twelve verse three. For through the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think more highly of himself than he ought to think, but to think so as to have sound judgment, as God has alluded to, as God, ha God has allowed it to each a measure of faith. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 6, verse 16. When all our enemies heard of it and all the nations surrounding us saw it, they lost their confidence, for they recognized that this work has been accomplished with the help of our God. The book of James, chapter 2, verse 17. Even so, faith, if it has no works, it is dead, being by itself. The book of Isaiah, chapter 32, verse 17. And the work of righteousness will be peace, and the service of righteousness, quietness, and confidence forever. The book of Psalm 34, verse 18. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 4, verse 8. In the future there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have loved his appearing. But Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 4. Confidence in God through Christ. The book of Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not anxiously look about you, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Surely I will help you. Surely I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. The book of Isaiah, chapter 23, verse 4. Be ashamed, O Sidon, for the sea speaks, the stronghold of the sea, saying, I have neither traveled nor given birth. I have neither brought up young men nor regard nor red virgins. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 8. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, declares the Lord. The book of Acts chapter 4 verse 13. Now as they observed the confidence of Peter and John and understood that they were uneducated, untrained men, they were amazed and began to recognize them as having been with Jesus. Let's see. The book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 through 11. Finally be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the full armor of God so that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. Psalm 46, verse 1 through 2. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change and though the mountains slip into the heart of the sea. Book of Exodus, chapter 14, verse 13 through 14. But Moses said to the people, do not fear. 
Stand by and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, you will never see them again ever forever. The Lord will fight for you while you keep silent. Book of Psalm 56, verse 3 through 4. When I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise. In God, I have put my trust. I shall not be afraid. What can mere men do to me? Book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 16. The Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are children of God. Book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 21 through 22. Now he who establishes us with you in Christ and anointed us as God, who also sealed us and gave us the Spirit in our hearts as a pledge. Book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 5. Now he who prepared for us this very purpose is God, who gave to us the Spirit as a pledge. Book of Ephesians, chapter 1, 13, verses 13 through 14. In him you also, after listening to the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation, having also believed, you were sealed in him with the Holy Spirit of promise, who was given as a pledge of our inheritance, with a view to the redemption of God's own possession, to praise of his glory. The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 38 through 39. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any created, any other created living thing will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 1. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 20. For as many of us are the promises of God, in him they are yes. Therefore, also through him is our amen to the glory of God through us. The book of Colossians, chapter 1, verse 27. To whom God will to make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Look at First Peter chapter 2, verse 6. For this is contained in Scripture. Behold, I lay in Zion a choice stone, a precious cornerstone, and he who believes in him will not be disappointed. Book of Joshua chapter 23, verse 14. Now behold, today I am going the way of all the earth. And you know in all your hearts and in all your souls that not one word of all the good words which the Lord your God spoke concerning you has failed. All have been fulfilled for you. Not one of them has failed. The book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 23. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering. For he who promised is faithful. The book of 1 Kings chapter 8 verse 20. Now the Lord has fulfilled his word which he spoke. For I have risen in place of my father David and sit on the throne of Israel as the Lord promised and have built the house for the name of the Lord the God of Israel the book of Psalm 119 verse 140 your word is very pure therefore your servant loves it book of second Peter chapter 1 verse 4 for by these he has granted to us his precious and magnificent promises so that by them you may become partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world by lust Psalm 89, verse 34. My covenant I will not violate, nor will I alter the utterance of my lips. Look at Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatever was written in earlier times was written for our instruction, so that through perseverance and encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. The book of 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 25. But the word of the Lord endures forever, and this is the word which was preached to you. Book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 21. Beloved, if our heart does not condemn us, we have confidence before God. Book of 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 16. I rejoice that in everything I have confidence in you. Book of 1 John chapter 5, verse 14. This is the confidence which we have before him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. The book of Acts chapter 28, verse 31. Preaching the kingdom of God and teaching concerning the Lord Jesus Christ with all openness, unhindered. The book of Philippines, chapter 1, verse 6. For I am confident of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Christ Jesus. Second Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 6. Therefore, being always of good courage and knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. 
Book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 35. Therefore, do not throw away your confidence, which has a great reward. So as y'all can see, it's very important that we have high confidence and high self-esteem. It's important that we have high faith. It's important that we have strong belief in the most high, his word, his promise, his covenant, his son. And that we also have strong belief within ourselves. It's very important to, that confidence in God produces boldness. Confidence in God removes fear. Got to have confidence from the Holy Spirit. Got to have confidence in God's calling. Got to have confidence in God's word, you know. That's what's going to keep us strong and stable in these times that we're in. That, that faith, that courage, that strength, you know. That confidence, you know. A lot of people's confidence are being shaken right now. A lot of people are getting a little rattled, but we have to stay calm. We got to stay peaceful for the Lord. We got to stay strong and stand firm. God calls us to be strong and courageous, all right? God calls us into leadership. God calls us into step, stepping up to the plate and walking by faith, all right? So we have to have that firm confidence and stand on everything strong for the Lord. I pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you get the Lord. I pray that you get baptized and you start your life well for the Lord. I pray that things get better for you. I pray that you have stronger uh, confidence. I pray that you have more strength. I pray that you take more risk. I pray that you walk more in faith and not by sight. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.